So now we come to earning Bitcoin. Now, a good way to do that is to install a BTC pay server onto your Bitcoin node. Um, you can start accepting Bitcoin payments with 0% fees and no third party. This is a piece of software that you install um, and uh, it's a great way to start earning Bitcoin. Yeah, so let's get this uh, integrated into our node. Now, I'm going to be following a guide on freedomnode.com. If you just look up Freedom Node um, BTC Pay Server, you should be able to get to this page. Um, now, I am going to start by CDing into um, uh, my downloads directory to install some dependencies that we will need uh, to run BTC Pay Server onto, on our machine. So let's uh, CD into downloads. Um, now, this particular... Um, uh, I guess, uh, command here, I'm just going to edit. And instead of Ubuntu 21.04, I'm going to change that to 22.04. And let's grab that. Okay. And we will um, copy this and we will paste that in like so and put in our password. And we will remove that file as well. Okay. Then we do sudo apt update. And we should get the Microsoft packages there, which we do. Fantastic. Um, and we will just install this package here. Uh, and you just press OK. And we'll do another sudo apt update. And install the .NET package. So that is like so. Okay, so now that has been uh, installed, it's now time to install um, the database. So let's uh, get going with that. Okay, that has now installed. And we're just going to change into the user uh, Postgres, which is the user of um, uh, the database. So now you'll see that we're in Postgres at Nodebox. Um, and we're going to create a new user, okay, uh, in that database. So let's go through this interactive prompt as it asks us to do here. So let's enter a name. So let's use Satoshi. Um, and I'm going to put in a password. Um, this one should be relatively secure. However, I'm just going to use password123. And I'm going to type it in again. Like so. Now, shall the new role be a super user? No. Uh, shall the new role be allowed to create uh, databases? Yes. Um, and uh, create new, more new roles? No. Okay. So we need to create two new databases here. Um, one for BTC Pay Server and one for another piece of software called NB Explorer, which is like the back end to uh, BTC Pay Server. So let's create those. So what I'm doing here is create DB um, under the username Satoshi uh, with BTC Pay Server. Um, so that's that user name here. Uh, and then one for NB Explorer. So let's create those two like that. And we'll create another one like that. Okay. And we'll hit exit out of that now. All right, now we need to install uh, NB Explorer. Um, I'm just going to do this uh, directly into my home directory. So I'm going to CD out of there um, and into the home directory. And I'm going to git clone uh, NB Explorer like so. And then now you'll see that there is a NB Explorer directory in my home folder. I'm going to CD into there and I'm going to hit build.sh. Um, so Let's uh, do that. Okay, so it should say build succeeded, which it does, fantastic. Now we need to create a data folder. So we're going to create that in our home directory. And it's gonna be a .nb explorer and another uh, folder called main. So that's what this command does. We're just gonna make some directories here. Um, and we're going to then CD into that, okay, um, and paste that through. Now, I'm just going to uh, create a, uh, a file that's called settings.config, and I'm just going to um, go into that, in that folder. I'm just going to go nano 
settings.config. And I'm going to copy and paste um, all of this here. So we copy this and we're going to paste that through in like so. Now we need to edit a couple of things. So my U uh, BTC RPC username is Bitcoin and my password is also Bitcoin. Um, and the uh, database user ID um, we said was Satoshi. So we're going to do that. And my password was password one, two, three. Okay. So that should um, fill that out. And the database that we want to use is the NB Explorer one. So we'll control X and Y to save it and enter to get out of there. Um, and then uh, what we need to do is just run it. Um, so let's uh, go back into that NB Explorer directory. And let's see if we can run this thing. So. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Um, so you can see here, um, uh, NB Explorer syncing ready and it's picking up the new blocks, it's connected through to it and it's looking pretty good, okay. Um, so if it all looks good, you can control C out of that to, um, to get out. So let's close that off. Application is sh shutting down. And now we want to um, use this uh, to auto start NBX on the, um, on the boot of our machine. So it connects up. So let's um, go into our CD ETC systemd system file where the rest of all of our, um, our service files are. And we will um, copy this and paste that through. And let's edit it. So uh, sudo nano nbexplorer.service. And what we'll do here um, is have user bin.net Satoshi will remove source um, and we will make this net 6.0 um, and that should uh, be about it for that line. Uh, the username Satoshi group Satoshi, that's who I want to run it as. Fantastic. Everything else is looking pretty good. So we'll control C and Y uh, to save and enter. Now let's start this service up. So sudo systemctl enable um, NB Explorer and sudo systemctl start NB Explorer and sudo systemctl status NB Explorer and it should be up and running and active um, and you should see uh, things being ready hopefully so yep so it's now ready as you can see okay um so it says here if you see no errors go to the next step all right so now what we want to do is we want to install btc pay server so i'm going to go back to my home directory now and i am going to git clone btc pay server so um that is going to happen in the home directory as well Okay, and we will CD into BTC pay server and we will um, build .sh that one as well. Okay. Okay, so that should go build succeeded as well. Um, and you'll get a couple of uh, warnings. You can safely ignore those. Um, We'll make a directory called the uh, .btc pay server with a main folder as well. So we'll paste that through like so, and we will CD into there as well. So that's there. And we're going to now nano um, um, uh, that um, settings. We're gonna create a new settings.config file. So let's go into there. And this is what we need to copy and paste. Now we don't have LND um, uh, set up just yet, uh, but we will later on in the series and then we can um, build this line out. So what I'm gonna do is just put it, put a hash in, in front of it. Um, and that what that will do is when we come to it, we will be able to uh, quickly um, set up our uh, LND into our BTC pay server so, so that we can accept lightning payments as well. Now, in terms of the um, username and password, similar to um, uh, what I did for NB Explorer, it'll be Satoshi, and we will also have 
uh, password one, two, three there. And uh, the database this time is BTC pay server, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to control X, Y, and enter. All right, um, now let's run, go, go to that um, BTC pay server folder. So, oh. So we'll go over to the BTC pay server uh, folder. So CD, CD, CD BTC pay server, and we will run dot sh there. Okay. Okay, um, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, so now what you can do is uh, if you go to um, 192.168.55.30 colon 23001, you should hopefully see a BTC pay server come up. And there it is. So now you can create an account, email, password, confirm password, and create a BTC pay server um, on your local network. Okay. Um, let's just now finish this thing up. So I'm going to control C and quit out of that uh, application. You'll see that that goes now here, unable to connect. Going back to our, um, our instructions here, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to CD, um, ETC, systemd, system, and we're going to download the BTC pay server service file. So let's copy this and we'll paste that through like so. Um, and we will edit this. So sudo nano btc pay server dot service. So what we need to change here is um, the location. So from home Satoshi source, we're gonna remove source. And everything else looks pretty good. Um, the user is Satoshi, the group is Satoshi. Um, everything else is good. So we'll go control um, X, Y and enter. And now sudo systemctl um, enable BTC pay server. And we will start and we will just check the status as well. So you can see that that's now up and running and active. Um, and we should, if we refresh this page, we should see our register page again, which you can here. Okay, so that's, um, uh, BTC pay server installation. Now, if you want to find out more about how you can use BTC pay server and create an account and all that sort of stuff, uh, go to the docs section. They have fantastic um, documentation on how to um, use uh, some of this stuff, um, integration, wallet setup, all those sorts of things. There's plenty of documentation here, a user guide. Um, I would start there and just go through some of the documentation on how it works, what it does, and how you can integrate this into your shop um, or even accept it as a payment when, you know, in, in Meetspace as well. So um, keep this in mind um, as you go through it. And to upgrade every time, so what I would do is um, CD into my home directory and then I'd CD into uh, BTC pay server. I'd go git pull origin master. Um, and you can see it's already up to date, but this would then get you the latest code. Um, and then what you would do is uh, sudo systemctl stop BTC pay server. Um, once you've stopped the service, you can then build.sh, so that'll build it again. Once it's built, um, the, the, the new code has been built, then you can type um, uh, sudo systemctl start btc pay server, um, and you should be able to um, restart that service with the new um, version of BTC pay server on there. Okay. So that's how you would upgrade from here. Um, any, uh, you know, um, versions that come out after, um, you've installed it. Uh, so this is all well and good. Um, however, what you really do need also is, um, to expose this out publicly. Now, um, I won't show that in this video. I'll show it in the next one, um, where we uh, learn to expose this, um, instance of BTC pay server out to the world so that anyone from the world um, can 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 access um, the, the the widget to be able to pay us in Bitcoin. Um, now, as it stands right now, you can only use it in your local uh, network. So you can see it's only accessible within 192.168.55.30, which is my home network. Um, <clears throat> and so if, if that's the case, um, you know, either people will have to come to me um, and it makes it difficult 
to, to, to take payments online. So we need to expose this service out to the world. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com and click on the support button. I accept Bitcoin, Lightning, PayPal, and credit card. If you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, head on over to the consulting page and book in into my calendar widget. I can help you with holding your own keys, running your own node, and privacy best practices. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.